So welcome to how to review Wasted Opportunities Time Rules. Alright, now that we've going to start I'm going to start this video, let's continue with this topic. So I'm gonna be talking about time rules. And my personal opinion and uh, you know with the opinion of the community as well, I feel that this has been a wasted opportunity. Um well, Konami has increased the rules to 45 minutes, and so far, we're at a state of um, a healthy place, simply because it's a tier 0 deck. I feel it's just a band-aid that doesn't really solve the problem. And we've, not, we've just simply delayed it, we've not fixed the underlying issue. I feel like time rules is something that needs to be discussed, that needs to be given a proper solution and a proper intervention by Konami themselves. This is clearly an issue that we have in the game, especially in the competitive levels, and it is something that needs to be addressed. One of the things that comes up with time rules definitely is the amount, is the how effects today are with, with archetypes. In Yu-Gi-Oh's current environment, we have activating effects is quite tedious as usually we can be going to chain link you know three and four to five on average obviously chain link 10 as we are seeing with Tishizu is an anomaly as something that doesn't happen uh, very often and it's something of a rarity but usually we're going to chain link five on the regular and this means that games are longer and and ruling such of sort of things, it just takes time. Now, another factor that comes about is um, this is one of the things that is that there's clearly some bad actors taking advantage of um, when it comes to the higher competitive scene, such as a uh, slow play, obvious slow playing that we players can tell. Um, you know, whether it's slow playing whether it's actually cheating whether it is you know there are various factors that are coming into play but i think the biggest is definitely slow playing i think this is something that i think most of us who watch uh you know the game on live stream and we're seeing on YCS is we can clearly see that a player is slow playing but it is not caught upon um and nothing is ever done about it and in fact they are rewarded when a clear indicator of them uh, disregarding the rules and just taking it and just abusing the system is not really good. And this is one of the things that I feel we should address. I feel, you know, Konami should, when it comes to the high competitive scene, um, incentivize skillful gameplay and incentivize a, uh, you know, a duelist's turn to be relatively five minutes. You know, it's not about discrimination. It's not about like, yes, yes. Like, you know, most can say like, you know, um, yeah, you know, it, uh, let the turn be, let your turn be as long as you want, read about it. But in my opinion, if you're playing at the highest level, this isn't some locals, right? This isn't some backwater place. This is a regional, this is a high level tournament. You need, uh, you, you need to be played skillfully and you should be rewarded for such. And if your play is taking more than five minutes, then that, in my opinion, isn't good. You should be skillful with your plays and you should know exactly your deck inside and out, right? And even if you don't know your deck inside and out, you should, you should at the level when you are playing a, a tournament, at least be able to do your turn in five minutes or less, right? The fact that we're having ter uh, uh, players doing turns which are, you know, for 20, for 10, 20 minutes is absolutely absurd, right? A turn, a player's turn should not be that long. They should not be wasting time on their turn. And it is my honest opinion, right? You should, at a higher competitive level, be able to do your turn and do all your plays and combos in one two minutes obviously within one to two minutes 
stretching it out to three, possibly. Um, obviously, any other factors could increase it to, you know, maybe five minutes, but five minutes being the absolute cap, and that's where it's ending. If your turn is longer than five minutes, in my opinion, you are definitely doing some kind of slow play, right? If it's clear and indicating that you want to take back your turns, for example, like, you know, you summon a monster and then say, like, oh, I changed my mind and do something else, that is clearly you violating the rules, right? And that should be punished and that should not be tolerated, okay? Such sort of obvious, like, changing of mind sort of rule set and that we see, and all these factors, I feel, play into time rules and play into the thing that we need discussing and we need to be solving in this game. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there, but that is my, uh, you know, my opinion on time rules. I feel it is something that, as, uh, you know, Konami should address and should bring us as a community, as a whole, as they did with the 2020 uh, Creator Card Project, bring in the community. Let's have a big discussion. Let's have a rally. Let's rally the, the you know, the community. Let's bring us all together and let us discuss and come into an agreement, all of us, on how we as players can, it can uh, implement a good rule, good time rules, where we all benefit. Because at the end of the day, we are the ones who are going to these tournaments, that are playing these tournaments, and uh, uh, you know, that are going to be facing these consequences. And at the same time, we need to have, these time rules need to respect the avenue that we're in that this is a high level tournament this is uh, a respectful place and skillful play and knowledgeable play should be rewarded your hard work as a Yu-Gi-Oh player should be rewarded your skills should be rewarded and anyone who is not doing anything skillful who is a bad actor who is doing anything malicious in play and can we can clearly see is malicious should be punished and should be disqualified Okay, and I'll end it there. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.